All right, we have a little living room and uh, maybe family room area we're going to clean today real quick. And you can see there's a good impression where an area rug's been sitting for a while. And carpets aren't too bad. Good quality carpet. Got some stains. But uh, that's what we're doing today, so stay tuned. All right, we're going to start cleaning up. So what we're doing here is a classic low moisture cleaning, and it's a it's an intense cleaning, but it's uh we're not gonna get the carpet soaking wet to do it like a person in a van. We're gonna get the carpets thoroughly clean, and they're gonna dry fast, and they're gonna look good when we're done. And everything's going into a, a one inch uh, cloth uh, bonnet. All the dirt's getting absorbed. There's nothing getting spread around. Uh, and you can see there's debris being picked up and everything. That's just that's just debris that is in the carpet. That even though people vacuum frequently, you're still going to have some stuff that gets embedded deep in the fiber. And this machine, it, since it cleans all the way to the base of the carpet, it pulls stuff loose. So. This machine will find the stuff that the vacuum cleaner misses. Yeah. No vacuum cleaner is good enough to get entirely all the carpet vacuum clear down to the mat. They miss a little bit of stuff, and uh, this will find the stuff that's been missed by vacuum cleaning and it'll pull it right up to the surface. So the next time the, the, the customers get a chance to vacuum, they're going to pick up a lot of extra debris. You can see some there along the edge of the couch. There was an area rug here, so there was probably some stuff underneath the yeah, area rug that wasn't getting vacuumed anyway. So. Well, this will give a chance to, to get that all taken care of by the customer in the next, in the next 24 hours after it dries. Now these carpets typically, when we clean this way, they dry. They dry in about an hour, maybe two hours, depending on how much spray we put down. If they're real dirty, we get them wet. If they're not real dirty, we get them moderately wet. Uh, we like to clean with enough dampness that the, that the, the bonnet spins real fast. The faster it spins, uh, the faster it cleans, and, uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the better it cleans deep. You want the carpet somewhat wet, just you just don't want them soaking where they're going to be wet for eight hours. Nobody needs to get carpets wet for eight hours. It's just no longer necessary. Well, you're going to avoid mildew and funny smells. And uh, if they had, a, if, a, if you have a pet in your home and they've ever had an accident on your carpet, if you get it soaking wet, that's going to bring the smells back to life and everything. So you want to keep everything as dry as possible when you clean. And you don't want to get the pad wet. That's no, you don't want to get the you don't want to soak the carpet so that the carpet pad gets wet. No, if the pad gets wet, that's bad. Stuff will come up from the pad that you don't know nothing about and you'll have stains everywhere that you don't even know are down there because you got the pad wet. Alright, I'm going to pause here. I need to spot treat a couple of spaces and then uh, we'll come back and show some more we'll show when it gets into the other. We're going to do a whole house clean, but we're just going to show these rooms. The rest of the house lighting. is so dark, yeah. so we're just going to do the living room on video. So we've got this room here to do, and then there's some bedrooms we're going to do, but like he said, they're too dark to really video anything in. So stay tuned. All right, we're continuing on. We had to pre-spray. We didn't want to do the whole room because we don't want the pre-spray to dry up. So we, we'll do an area with pre-spray, clean it, and then go pre-spray some more. This carpet again there was an area rug covering this spot so it's extra white 
Yeah, and I, and I can't guarantee we'll blend that in. It, it'll probably turn out good, but when you got an area of carpet that's been covered up for a long time, and the other area has been getting worn on, it wears on evenly, so. Yeah, and you can get some UV. Yeah, UV damage, damage if there's sun coming in at certain times of the day. Now, what we try to advise our customers to do is, uh, if you're, uh, if you don't want, if you want your carpet to wear evenly, rearrange your furniture every six months to a year. I know that sounds inconvenient, but it'll make your carpet wear even. It really does. And yeah, same thing with area rugs. And kind of rotate them around a little bit. So you don't end up uh, having carpet. Uh, sometimes having an area rug is good. It will protect the carpet underneath, and sometimes it wears funny because of having all that pressure on it all the time. So well, if you, it's not always possible to do it. But rearranging your furniture patterns and, and changing the traffic patterns does help keep your carpet more even. What's the best thing is once a year have a, have someone come out and clean your carpets, whether it's us or whatever, whoever you hire. But have someone come out and uh, clean your carpets, and when they do. Have your furniture moved right then, and and, uh, and then underneath the furniture they can clean it. But that way, uh, you can you can get your furniture your, your carpet clean where your bad traffic things are at, and then you can put the furniture in those areas if possible, uh, and then have new areas of carpet that hasn't been stepped on and walked all over. So that you so that you so that you don't do so that you wear your carpets out evenly all across your living room or your bedroom or whatever. All right. This little dark area here at the back door. Yeah, we'll come out. Way over there soon. We'll just finish this room, and that'll be all for this video. Now, some of the areas uh, where people walk in and out the house are the traffic areas. After we clean, we will put down a, a peroxide-based after spray that helps lighten the carpet as it dries. We don't usually show that because it's not an instant result. It just takes a, it takes a little time as it dries, it lightens. But that's another thing we do is uh, where necessary, we'll put down an after spray. So this is going along. Let me switch to the other side here. coming out pretty good. It's coming out. That carpet there is really matted down because it's had a rug on top of it, so it's it's helping to fluff it back up again. Careful with the blinds. It can flop them. It can it can break them loose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, vertical blinds are kind of a pain. If you touch them with, if anything hits them hard enough at the bottom, they pop off at the top. So we always have to be careful with vertical blinds. All right, here's the darker. Let me go around to the other side. I think it shows up better. And even if it comes out, I'll still put down an after spray. It'll come out, but there's going to be some natural, what you call, uh, carpet fiber distortion. Come back a little bit further. I'm just not done there. I'm getting that up. All right. So see how it's it's uh, the, the, once you get your carpet fibers just dis, uh, distorted, what happens is uh, they, they 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 look different. They cast a shadow. 
unlike the rest of carpet, they just have a different look about them. Well, it's like a worn spot if you've got some blue jeans or something. Once the knees start to wear, the fabric's worn. And you may be able to get them clean when you when you put them in the laundry, but they're never going to look the same because the, once the carpet starts to get abraded and the fibers start to come uh, have a little damage to them, it, it's never going to just gonna clean, cleaning same. isn't going to fix that 100 percent. It may improve the looks a little bit, but it's never going to blend in with the rest of the carpet 100 percent. But that's okay. Carpets wear out. I mean, they they're, no matter what you do, they're going to wear out. So yeah. Ah, he's about done with the uh, actual cleaning process. All that we really got left to do, I'm going to put down an after spray, and then the carpets need to dry. And uh, These should be dry. It's a little bit muggy today, so it may take more than an hour. But by two hours, it should be dry completely. And that's kind of nice because people can get back to using their carpets quicker. And also, you know, if you... Uh, if you've ever had a carpet cleaned and it took a you know a whole day or even more than a day to dry, you know what an this inconvenience is the first it is. Carpet dry, we're trying to see it's uh, pretty close to dry now. All right, cool. It's been 20 minutes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just a little sample of what we do. So until next time, thanks for watching.